You may recognize actor Jack Plotnick from his various roles in film and TV and national commercials. But during the pandemic, Jack started doing something completely different. He started inserting himself into old Walt Disney videos. Well, those videos were posted on YouTube and got the attention of a lot of people, including some Imagineers. I got to sit down with him and ask him how he came up with it and what it's been like to see the results. Take a look. I want you to meet Mary Blair. Mary, this is Julie Reams. Hello, Julie. Julie, Julie, how am I gonna remember Julie? I went to school with her Julie in fifth grade, boom. Welcome, Jack. Hello, Lauren, thank you for having me. You know, over quarantine and the pandemic, while the rest of us were like, you know, making sourdough bread and <laughs> drinking ourselves into oblivion. I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> most incredible videos and oh. you don't I just I'm I just want to peek into your brain okay well let me see if I can <laughs> a little bit whenever you comment on one of my videos I just feel like yes like I just think you are so you, you to me you're I just have so much respect for you I think you're hysterical and so the fact that you enjoy my stupid videos thrills me oh my god I, I enjoy them so much and it's almost you're one of these people that it's so hard to put you in any kind of category or or even describe what it is you do because I've never seen Every video I do just pops into my head and I go, oh, that would be fun. Like I never give it any thought. I just wait for an idea that tickles me and then I get my camera out and I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm going to say, but I'll just, you know, improvise in front of the camera and then I create the video through um, editing. But, you know, those uh, Disney videos started fairly early on in the pandemic when I, I mean, we were all freaking out. It was like traumatic, right? You know, and I'm sure a lot of people were doing, like the computer would like go into my bedroom with me and I would just lay there in bed watching, going down YouTube wormholes. But whereas I used to do like true crime ones, I was looking for comfort. And, you know, I, Disney has meant so much to me and my whole family because uh, it was, like the happiest times in my family. We're going on vacations to Disney World. So anyway, just watching a lot of Disney videos, like and getting like really specific, like the best restaurants to eat at at Disney. Like I had looked at them all and I stumbled upon a, an old 1960s, uh, wonderful world of color Disney program. Blaine, I want you to meet Julie Green. Hello, Blaine. Hello, Julie. Julie is uh, Miss uh, Disneyland Tencennial. Where Walt Disney was giving Julie Reams, Miss Disney Tencennial. I was like, who the f is that? Um, am I allowed to curse? Anyway, apparently there was one and he was showing her around and at all the rides, they, this was when they were literally creating the rides. Like this, it's a small one, right? Hadn't been made yet. Anyway, and I was just like, it was really tickling me because it just, nothing felt sort of PC. <laughs> this is Johnny Hinch, who's in charge of this particular project. Hey, Julie, looking good. Uh, oh, you've met before. Does Mickey wear pants? Well, wonderful. He gets around, you know. He knows all the pretty girls. I, I, and so I was like, you know what? I just want to escape into the world of Disney. And so I stuck. There happened to be uh, one of the Imagineers. And by the way, I'm obsessed with Imagineers. Always happens since yeah. I was a kid. And one of them happened to look like me. So the first one I did, I played him. I mean, if you think about it, it was really kind of the first, like, behind the scenes of yeah. Disney. And they're showing, like, how they design all the restaurants. And your reactions are very... You know, kind of modern day takes on on what a normal reaction would probably be to this ridiculous exercise. Really, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and often he wouldn't really give them any time to talk. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just I'm gonna have Walt stand there and listen to me talk. And it is a model of Norman's people. Well, I gotta get on a boat here. Well, you. You said that I could show Julie the ride. Julie, would you like to see what- You know, you, you remember these rides as a kid and how much fun they were, but but when you hear your take on it, you, you, you kind of realize like, yeah, I can't believe someone actually came up with that as a ride. <laughs> like, that yeah. would be fun yeah. for everybody. Um, those it's a small world ride isn't even a ride. <laughs> it's not a ride, it's a song sung over and over. You move through while they keep singing, right? It's an art exhibit. 
and you I'm look at an art exhibit camp. going down a river in a boat. <laughs> right. Right. Like what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I always love that kind of humor where you just you just stick with one thing and just keep hitting it again and again, and then it just becomes more and more outrageous. So, and that was a perfect way to do it, was just trying to understand, like, that's all, they, they just sing the whole song over and over, in all the languages, the whole song, in every language. You've worked in the business for a very long time, but do you find there's something special about doing something on your own, in the sense that, like, there are no gatekeepers, you can kind yeah. of do whatever you want and just figure out what works and what doesn't? Uh, what I love is that, you know, I had done a lot of work as a, as a working actor on TV and like guest star parts and, and um, on TV shows or movies, but I'd never had just my voice. These are just me. And I love the fact that uh, it's as an artist, it's, it's really a beautiful thing to feel like, okay, well, people saw me and um, I'll always know that I put who I am on film. What do people tell you? Well, the, the feedback that blew my mind was Disney people started to write to me. And you have to understand, like, the first book I remember getting as a kid was The Art of Walt Disney, and that's how I got obsessed with Imagineers. Wow. So, like, when the first person from Disney wrote to me, and it was like a Disney Park employee, I was like, squeal! But then Imagineers were like, oh my God, this is the funniest thing. And someone told me that the Imagineers would like, when a new video came out, they would gather and watch it together. And then that was like head exploding. And then I think oh the goodness. pinnacle was when the Sherman brothers who wrote all the hit songs you love yes. from Mary Poppins, yeah, their son wrote me and was like, this is hysterical. And 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 so to me, that, that's been the very absolute best thing. I mean, the fact that the folks at Disney have noticed, that really says all you need to know. <laughs> yeah, and so far, no injunction. <laughs> so far. Right. It looks like you have a full production house going on over there, so. It's literally know. this wall. <laughs> I mean, it's me, this wall, and green fabric. You've been fooling all of us, so congratulations. <laughs>